Hello everyone, in this INR number 42, we are going to discuss about a very important brain tumor which came in FMG exam this time also. Oligodendroglioma, right? So what is oligodendroglioma? It is a glial tumor of the brain, right? It is a glial tumor of the brain which will be affecting mostly in the age group of 40 to 50 years, right? And what will be the most common site? Most common site will be the frontal lobe and in frontal lobe also which area cerebral hemisphere white matter so cerebral hemisphere white matter will be commonly affected as you can see in the mri also so mri of oligodendroglioma you can see frontal lobe is having tumor mass frontal lobe is having tumor mass which is showing you a strong enhancement so this is the most common site for the oligodendroglioma and what will be the most common presentation so most common presentation will be Caesar. So remember most common presentation of oligodendroglioma will be Caesar. So 40 to 50 year old frontal lobe Caesar. Think about oligodendroglioma. Right. Cytogenetic change what you will see here. There are two important cytogenetic changes. Most common and most specific is the chromosome 1P 19Q deletion. Remember chromosome number 1P and 19Q deletion is also known as 1P 19Q co-deletion because both are having simultaneous deletion so 1p 19q is also known as 1p 19q co-deletion right and what is the significance number one they are the most specific and most common mutation number one and if you find this mutation means patient is going to respond to therapy very well and that is why their prognosis will be very good right the second mutation which we can see is idh right isocitrate dehydrogenase mutation can be also present and this mutation will be giving them good prognosis so both of the mutation we are discussing here i 1p 19q deletion co deletion and uh, isocitrate dehydrogenase both will be giving good prognosis right now we have to understand what will be the histological because histology is the main for diagnosis right so when mri is showing frontal lobe uh, you know strong enhancement we will take the biopsy from there and in biopsy oligodendroglioma will be showing you three features number one is called as anastomosing capillaries remember because of this anastomosing capillaries only we call this as a chicken wire appearance so this chicken wire appearance you can see these are all anastomosing capillaries in the biopsy so this is the number one thing that is why we call this as a chicken wire because of anastomosing capillaries they are looking like a chicken wire appearance so number one finding second histological finding is fried egg tumor cell which came in exam so fried egg tumor cells are seen in oligodendroglioma why fried egg tumor cell because around the nucleus you can see there is a perinuclear halo right this, this perinuclear halo if you look at all these cells you know, they are all the nuclei perinuclear halo nuclei perinuclear halo right so you can see all of them are having same feature which looks like a fried egg that is why it is called as fried egg tumor so anastomosing capillaries or chicken wire capillaries second is fried egg tumor cell and third this is a very important point mentioned very distinctly in robin so you can expect this question in your exam so what we are seeing here this is a neuron and these are the tumor cells these are the tumor cell you can see these are randomly scattered but here around the neuron if you look at the neuron you can see tumor cells are just adhering around the neurons not not entire area some areas like a satellite so that is why it is called as peri around the neuron perineuronal satellitosis so you are seeing a neuron and tumor cells are forming satellite around them so this is the neuron tumor cells are forming satellite around them so this is called as perineuronal satellitosis you can see another example of perineuronal satellitosis because of the tumor cells and you can also notice perinuclear halo which is a fried egg tumor so anastomosing capillaries fried egg tumor cell perineuronal satellitosis these are the three key features for the diagnosis of the oligodendroglioma now what will be the treatment of oligodendroglioma so oligodendroglioma we can treat see first thing will be the surgery so first treatment they will start from the surgery then it will go for the radiation and chemotherapy and in radiation and chemotherapy chemotherapy remember possible regimens are temozolomide so temozolomide is a new drug which they are trying now in under the clinical trial and then procarbazine lomastine and vincristine these are the pharmacological treatment which we are using in the oligodendroglioma so keep revising these topics for your upcoming exam. My best wishes to all of you.